Hi, my name's Frank. Um, I'm a wind turbine technician here. Um, when people find out about my job, um, they often ask questions like, you know, how a wind turbine works and um, how that power gets into the grid for um, the community. So come along with me and uh, we'll have a look. Over the years, technology has improved and is improving all the time. The basics are still the same though. We have wind creating kinetic energy, pushing the blades around, turning the gearbox, which in turn turns a generator, creating clean energy for the community. The blades are around 40 metres long. They vary in length. There are different turbines here, depending where they're situated, whether they're on hills or in valleys. We have a wind vane on the roof, which always directs the front of the turbine into the wind. We also have a anemometer, which gives wind speed. Okay, so here we are at the base of a turbine now. Underneath us here is around 300 cubic metres of concrete, obviously to support the structure. The steel sections are bolted to that. This turbine has three metal sections, a uh, total height of about 80 metres. Newer turbines are much taller than these, so require a lot more concrete in the ground. Once the tower section's in place, the nacelle's craned into position contained in that nacelle is our generator and gearbox already in place. Power from the turbines travels underground at um, 12,000 volts, then gets converted to 66,000 volts at our substations, comes to this main substation, goes across to uh, a terminal station on the left here. From there it's transmitted at 220,000 volts. From there it goes into the grid for, uh, for people to use. Technology is extremely important in running a wind farm. The monitoring alone, it's, uh, it's invaluable. It's a SCADA system. We also can use our mobile phones from home. We use tablets. Anything we need to know about the turbines, we can find that information out through the system. We can monitor wind speeds, power outputs, grid voltages, bearing temperatures, what one part of the wind farm is doing compared to another. We can look back in history, see exactly what happened at what time. It minimises downtime. We can pick what the issue is with the turbine without actually going out to it. We can pick up the parts we need and go out and fix that turbine fairly quickly. It generally takes uh, less than 12 months to create the amount of clean energy it took to manufacture these turbines. I expect the wind farm to run for at least another 25 plus years. I'm really happy to be part of this green energy and what it's done for the community. 